Hello everybody, this is the Movember slash November no shave November video that my wife is putting together for you all. And we have a special guest with us. What the cute little, what do you got going on here, Melody? What's that? What's that called? A mustache. Melody's got a mustache she's rocking for our show today. So I'd really like for you guys to watch the video and check out all of Hot Pink Zebra Polish's videos as well. We're going to create a really nice um, nude to blue gradient. So I'm going to start with the blue color, which is a light to medium. And I'm going to apply that at the tip and then brush it upwards to start that fade. And remember, if it's not perfect the first time, you can always layer a gradient back and forth until you're happy with the fade. So I always like to keep my layers nice and thin so that I have that option to build up more color. And then with a cover pink, I'm going to apply that right above where the blue stops and then blend it down. And so brush it down. Work with your acrylic that's slightly more wet than you may normally, and that will definitely help with that gradient and that blend. So once you're happy with your gradient, then you can encapsulate this nail with a layer of clear acrylic. There are some people that don't encapsulate their ombres, and for those people, I mean, that's awesome way to go. The way that I like to do it, it just always pretty much needs that encapsulation, which is just fine. I mean, it's up to you. Plus for me personally, I love the way an encapsulation makes nail art appear to be floating over the background color and it just adds another layer of depth to the design. So it's always kind of, you know, personal preference between those two things. And so whichever way you want to do it, that's, you know, your choice. Every, every person kind of has to find their own sort of preferences with these types of things and there's so many people that are going to tell you there's one way to do things only and that's just not the case you know you just have to find whatever works for you but i'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file or if you're not an e-file person a hand file is going to do the job and then i'm going to apply a layer of matte top coat over the entire nail even though it wasn't required it just gives it a really velvety texture and makes it look so smooth and so i don't know soft so now on a, on a silicone mat, this is actually a kitchen mat because those are way cheaper than nail art mats. I'm going to paint a strip of sparkly blue gel polish and then top coat that with some flexible glossy gel top coat. So when I say flexible, different gel top coats have different um, finished results. So if you just have to kind of play around with it, the one I lo really love to use is Madame Glam's. But then I'm going to peel that off the mat and I'm going to be cutting it into this long skinny strip. So keep kind of trimming it with just a regular scissors and until you get those nice clean parallel lines, trim off the ends, and then you can fold this little piece of gel polish and you can fold that into that classic ribbon shape and then glue it in place. So glue it first, the ribbon together, separate from the nail, and just hold it with your fingers and the glue will take eventually. And once that glue holds up where you can easily let go of it and it's not going to pop open, then you can glue the ribbon to the nail. And with how big and exaggerated this ribbon is, it isn't necessarily practical to wear it. So this is just for like demonstration purposes. So I'm not going to secure the ribbon any more than that to the nail. I'm just going to say it's glued on. That's good enough for me. If you were planning on actually wearing this, I'd stick some clear acrylic or some builder gel behind it to really hold it to the nail. But now on a nail form backing, I'm going to be sculpting my little mustache. So I've got some black acrylic. And I lay two beads down so that I have kind of like the two halves of the mustache. And then I'm going to pull them into that handlebar shape. You guys want to hear something ridiculous? So my husband, who you got to meet in the beginning of this video, had a handlebar mustache for like three weeks. <laughs> and then right before he recorded this intro, he cut it off. And he comes out of the bathroom. He goes, I finally got rid of it because I was saying that he was a little bit furry. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you cut it off right before you did the video. But such is life. So anyways, I was really excited because he'd have a handlebar for this video and then it was gone. We're going to form this mustache into that nice kind of perfect shape of that classic mustache. And then after you have it and you're happy with that, we're going to glue the mustache into the middle of the ribbon with a little bit more nail glue. Same thing if you're planning on legitimately wearing this nail, secure that a little bit better than I did. But then I'm going to be adding some little highlights to it with some white paint. You can use white or a gray or even blue would work. I wanted really intense highlights, which is why I went for white. But if you want something a little more subtle, that would always be an option. And then a light layer of matte top coat over those highlights and this nail is done. I love how quick and easy this nail was, but really how much of an impact the final design has. So I hope you like it too. And here's the Melody Minutes. What's going on? Are you on daddy's head? <laughs> You're really enjoying this, aren't you? <laughs> she made it! She made it! She, she made, made it! it rain it's wet what do you have on 
you got your rain boots. You have a raincoat too. You're so cute. Oh, you're just so cute. Can you look at me? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that cute little Melody Minutes. She sometimes has the funniest looks on her faces. And don't forget to share recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram. I'd love to see them and I'll see you next time. Bye.